Okay, so let's say it is the 6th January 2016. This is to figure the sign children and I'm going to conduct your speaking tests. First of all, could we have here with your letter to some questions about yourself? Can you first tell me your full official name? Well, my full official name is Satyam Abdullah Binagar. I did a here in my class. And what name do you want me to call you? I would like you to call me my Saki. Okay, Mr. Saki, where are you from? I'm from a small neighborhood of Tama and Kinshida, Bangla, Bangla. Okay. Are you a student or you're doing a job? Right now I'm a student. Um, I study at William Carey Academy, which is situated at behind Lord Singh. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will be graduating in June 2016. Oh. What course are you studying and why did you choose this course? Well, right now, as I'm not a college student, I do not have any specific course, but I plan to study in the science uh, department uh, since I'm going to be a doctor. Good. Okay, let's talk about your home. Where is it situated? Uh, it's actually situated in an urban area, a suburban area. Uh, it's actually a neighborhood, it's very beautiful. Uh, it's surrounded by two hills one is Kissy Hill, and the other one is Terry Hill. Uh, people usually spend most of the time over there. Uh, since it's really peaceful over there, people who are living there need to spend their time. And the good thing about my neighborhood is that it has lots of facilities like um, it has different types of schools, the healthcare facilities, shopping malls, and other things. Can you point one or two disgusting point of your well, uh, Something that I need to agree with that would be the drain, which uh, the building, uh, the place where I'm living, mm -hmm. right beside my building, there's a huge drain which is completely uncovered. And it's actually unhealthy to have an uncovered drain. People might get like different types of diseases and. Right. Okay, which part of your house or apartment do you like most? Well, since I live in a 13 story building, and we are the only one, uh, we are the only people living over there. Uh, it's actually the whole house that I mm -hmm. like. Like and the best part of my building is the rooftop, mm -hmm. which is actually you can see the whole city from there. Right. And any disgusting part of the apartment? Um, I wouldn't say that there is specifically like disgusting part of my building because like we have people who take care of every single. Right. What do you feel about the kitchen or the store in your apartment? Well, I would, um, if, if I need to compare my house's kitchen to other houses, I would say my kitchen is really, really clean. Because in our house, usually people in Bangladesh usually have people who work in their houses. But in my house, my mom like, takes care of everything. And my mom is one among those people who like to have everything clean and uh, nice and clean. Right. So who does the cooking in your house? Well, uh, most of the cooking is done by my mom, but whenever we get some free time, like during the weekends, we, we the brothers, also do cook. Mm. Can you cook? Yes, I'm like learning because since I'm going to uh, go to a foreign country, my mom is not going to go with me, so I will have to cook by myself. Do you think it's necessary to learn how to cook at school? Yes, I think that's really necessary. This is um, cooking is a step in life that every people should learn because there is a step in life that everyone has actually. Like the not everyone is going to be like um, accompanied by people, right? Uh, every people might have to uh, might have an occasion where they have, might have to cook their own food. So therefore, I think that every school should have their own cooking class to speak, teach the students. Okay, what do you do when you hang out with friends? Well, I do lots of lots of things. We go like usually one thing is for sure. When you hang out with Bengali friends, you need to go for food. That's for sure. And the other thing is like usually when we. Have, my friends, we usually go for like, we go to some place where we usually hang out and then we sing songs, we play games and mm -hmm. different types of things. Do you hang out with one or two friends or with a large group of friends? Well, we have a huge group of friends. Like, we usually, whenever we go, we go like 12 or 30 together, mm -hmm. not like one or two. Okay. When the last time of going out? Well, the last time I went out would be the last Friday. Mm -hmm. I went out with my friends, my school friends. Uh, we went at the hill of King of mm -hmm. Like uh, It was like an evening, and so we planned to go and hang out after. Uh, since we got a break from school, we, it was like five or six days that we haven't met, so we planned on for a hangout. Very good. Well, thank you very much. Now I'm going to give you a card, and the card will find a topic. You will also find some guiding questions. Based on that, you have to figure a talk for one minute, and you have one minute time to take notes. Here's the time you can take notes. Sure, I'm ready. Okay, we'll do that.
Sir Nam. Yes, very good. Well, when I was a child, from, uh, from since birth, I've always been attracted to building different types of buildings and constructions. You know those Lego, mm -hmm. those Lego buildings. I used to play with them like the whole day. Mm -hmm. I used to build things. But later, when my dad said that our country's condition was like really bad, people used to die of different types of illnesses and things. Uh, so, uh, so my dad was saying that our country actually needs uh, skilled doctors. So from that day, I planned that I would become a doctor and I would help my country. Mm -hmm. But if I had to change the course that I've taken, that would be doctor, I would choose architecture. Right. And the main reason behind it would be, um, I've seen different countries building different kinds of buildings. And those buildings like uh, in Saudi Arabia, in Dubai, you can see the Burj Khalifa, one mm -hmm. of the tallest buildings, known for its design and it's for, for the other things. So I would like to build something in my country that would make our country proud and people would know that that building is situated in Bangladesh. No. Well, thank you very much. Let's move on to the two way discussion part. Well, do you think universities should only offer courses related to the employment or job or courses on other topics as well? Well, whenever a person goes to university, he's actually going for knowledge, right? So since he's going to a specific course or if, if he's going to do a specific job, I would suggest that the university should teach specific courses, but as well as that, uh, however, they should also teach some basic knowledge that people would need for the daily life. So I wouldn't say that they should actually teach only for, uh, for the employment. So, which do you think employers should pay more attention to, the qualifications or the experience? Mm, actually, from my point of view, I think both of them because experience is something that um, overcomes qualification too. Because when, when you see someone who has been in a background for a long time, gaining experience, he can automatically tell something. Like, um, as we can see, doctors in our country, people, a, a student who just passed his doctorate degree, he, uh, when he first starts uh, judging people, he needs to like look onto the symptoms and other things to know what his disease is. But an experienced doctor, he can just look at the at the patient and, and completely judge what his symptom is by the way of his walking, by the by looking at his height, no, at, at his eyes normally. Right. Well, what is your idea about the retirement age should be for men? <laughs> Well, um, as, people, as people get old, they actually start losing eyesight, different types of thinking power and other things. I think that usually like people start regaining, uh, people start losing their like uh, normal mental situation by like 60, uh, I would say 55, 55 or 60. Mm -hmm. It should be somewhere between this because people, uh, as we can see, uh, they should actually remove people who are getting old and put more about more young people so that they can handle things much better. Okay. And how do you make a change in the differences between the workers and the work? I mean, there are some people who are very young and energetic and have very good knowledge about using the technology. And in the same office, it might so happen that the some of the employees are very old and they are in the senior positions but they do not have good ability uh, to the technology. And for, the new for that, there is an idea. I would say that uh, people who have been staying in that background, they have the experience. And the young people who are getting inside, they have the knowledge. So combining these two, they would be providing the ideas and you would be providing the knowledge. He would say like uh, he would provide an idea, like saying this would if we do this, our company would go even much better. And he would say what would be the what would be the profit and what would be the loss. In this way, we could actually take a company or anything by providing both, by giving the senior senior employees and the young and the new employees. Well, thank you very much. Your class is over. Thank you. Very much.